What's up guys, getting ready to do a test drive on this old truck here, come back a 305. And of course this is an 86 K10, made by GMC. Looks like it's got power steering, power brakes, AC compressor, we'll be checking it out to see if it works. Look at the detailed pictures on our website at maplemotors.com. We have financing and shipping available. And of course I do this every day, so hit subscribe and share this video, that'll help me out quite a bit. All right, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll look around the interior and check everything out. Place those bets. Do you think the horn works? It's a little game we like to play on the channel here. The interior has been redone, a nice seat. Headliner in this one's not too bad. Visors, okay. Let's go ahead and start her up. She's still cold right now, loud buzzer. As you can see, the engine temperature is low. I haven't really uh, actually had it running. I pulled it up here in the entrance about an hour ago and thought, okay, let's go do that test drive. Tilt column's working. Turn signal is not blinking on the dash. Not that I could tell. Right side, nope, not doing anything either. Does the AC work? Compressor kicked on. We'll give her a second, it is blowing. Radio. I like that song. I haven't heard that in a while, Gorillas. It is cold. Got the four wheel drive set up. We may try it out. Floors. I love rubber mat in a truck. I just think it makes sense. Okay. All right, what about them wipers? They work on low, but when you go to high, nothing happens. Horn, place those bets. It does work. Let's hit the road, see how she runs and drives. All right, here we go. We're gonna take off down the road. Of course, anything that I see, you'll know about it. That's why I do these videos. Okay, let's wait on this truck to get by here. And we're gonna roll out. Traffic's just a little thick today. I'm waiting on the engine temperature to climb on up. It's still in the cold zone. I've had it running for a second, so it should have came up a little bit. And of course, I didn't show you, but it is showing 82,068 miles. Hard to stand behind mileage. It very well could be. I think it's because it's such a nice day. That's why everybody's out right now. Still early, two o'clock. We don't really have rush hour until about 4.30. There we go, finally. Let's take off. Good shift there, of course. When I let go of the steering wheel, this thing has a little bit of a right pull. The speedo is coming up on the dash there, and it seems pretty correct. The steering's actually pretty tight. Down in the throttle, kick down is hooked up. Another takeoff there, getting into those brakes. Doesn't feel bad at all. Stopping decent. We'll go ahead and force our way over here into this crazy little traffic spurt. <laughs> Get that mat from peeling up there. We got a little paper mat we throw on the floor. The engine temperature's just up a little bit now. As far as the gas gauge goes, it's at three quarters of a tank and floating around. So that, that, that is working. Smooth. 
Okay, so what we're gonna do next, I'm gonna pull through this parking lot since all this traffic's over there and go ahead and cut over to the church parking lot. It's pretty empty today. People were voting all last week, so I was having to do different locations, which I still plan on doing different locations. Nice little curb we just dropped off of. Hardly felt it in this truck. The suspension's in good shape. But now we're gonna get some outside shots. We're gonna walk around, get some undercarriage stuff. Look below in the description. Check out the merchandise. Uh, a lot of changes coming to it in the next week. We're gonna add, uh, I believe, some hats if I can figure it out. They're wanting dimensions and everything. So I'm gonna go in there and take a little time to make some more gear. Guys, I'll be right back. Thank you. Okay, so before we leave out, we'll uh, put her in neutral here. I heard it click. Does it work though? Oh, gotta put her in drive first. Oh yeah, four wheel drive, definitely engaged, for sure. Yeah, it's working. All right, and it's even showing up on the dash there. Two wheel drive. Yeah, disengaged. Good deal. Gotta go this way because few people are starving at the lot. It's only about an hour left in work, and I don't guess any of us have ate. So it's time to pick up some food. see here if I can get straight across the street that'd be awesome Just something quick a couple tacos taco bell there we go let's roll here we made it hey there's a speed bump here we can hit this one's a little bit bigger than the ones that I was hitting last week so a little stiff in the back there when you hit those same with this one this is pretty big too Bunch of them in this parking lot. A little bumpy, but as far as driving down the road, it's been very smooth. Let's see here. You 
you notice how tight they make these? I mean, a full-size four-door truck, it's difficult getting through a parking lot like this. Hi, how are you? I'm pretty good. Can I get a 12-pack of Supreme tacos, please? Did you want a crunchy or soft shell? Uh, crunchy and get a, a, cup, a couple of things of guac on the side. So a 12-pack of crunchy Supreme tacos and two sides of guacamole? That'll work. All right, you're gonna have to pull forward. I have your Thank you. All right, get us some tacos. It's only three of us, so 12 should be plenty. Oh, well, as far as the truck goes, it's running and driving good. We got an uh, engine temperature of about 200, oil pressure, it looks about 20. Just a smooth running truck. This dash is nice and clean in this one. I mean, it's in really good shape. But yeah, I think you'll enjoy this truck. It does have some paint flaws, and we're going to be going over those paint flaws at the end of the video. Oh, uh, that's where we do picking out the flaws. Man, it smells like. Oh, yeah, there's a laundry mat there. I was like, it smells good in here. Hello. Hey, honey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Thank you. Get some tacos. Build this video for y'all. Finally, we got some. I need to get some sauce too. Y'all like Diablo sauce? I always put Diablo on the tacos. I actually haven't had Taco Bell in a while. You got some Diablo sauce? Maybe some mild, please? Oh, yeah, a big handful. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. All right. Okay, so we're going to roll back to the lot now. Let's roll with the punches here. <laughs> oh, somebody's uh done ran over a skunk or something. Smell strong on this bridge. Of course, now we're starting to hit some traffic because it took me about an hour to get this video done, which it does with every video that we put out here. But I definitely want to run them long enough to make sure everything's all right, put a few miles on it. Seems pretty solid. Nice cruising truck. Probably jump up on the highway, no problem. and smooth but yeah we're getting ready to roll up to the lot now i got to give pops his guacamole i'm not a big fan of guacamole that's baby poo to me i just eat the taco <laughs> can't tell i'm hungry <laughs> but guys picking out the flaws is up next hope that didn't bore you with the extra scenes here i'll try to make it a little bit more interesting every time i make a uh, test drive video thanks again for watching i'll see you in the next one
All right, here to pick out the flaws on this truck. Let's walk around. Anything I see, you'll know about it. This one does have a weak paint job on it, so I'll go ahead and let that be known. We're gonna just going to scan over a lot of this stuff. I'll just show it clear as day in the picture, like the clear coat coming off here. And uh, it may not be scratch, 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 like me pointing it all out. I'm just going to zoom in all this stuff since there is quite a bit of chips in the paint. Coming around the front here. The grill and everything up front is in good shape. You do got some light cracks right there. The front bumper, it looks fairly new. You do got a scratch right here, big dent. Chips along that front edge. Little ding here. Same with this one, little cracks. See around the front there, a little wavy and a bunch of little imperfections. Clear coat's gone on top here. Same thing at the bottom. See all the little spots. Open up your gas cap here. Look inside. Clear coat peeling all over it. See all the dents and chips in the back there that are picking up some rust. Bed rails, same thing, chips starting to rust up. A spot there in the door. bug there front windshield's in pretty good shape the seal around it's not bad you can see on your pillar here you got some little rust a lot of chips cracks right there around your vent window around the back there it's not bad A little spot here A lot of chips in the bed we got a dent on top here Dual exhaust, bottom. Back bumper, it's got a little rust popping up, a little pitting. Try to open her up. Opens up pretty good. It shuts good. And down this side. Spot there in the back.
see all the clear coat coming off there. top there pitting on your door handle paint runs back here real thick top of that bed rail back window it's all right the seal looks good Rust popping up on that trim there. Front windshield, not bad. Looks pretty good. All right, made it around the ride. Let's go ahead and check out the inside. Door panel's in good shape few chips down here people kicking it getting in and out it's like black blacked out portion there a little weld mark seal looks good the seat it's practically new speaker box back there looks good rearview mirror here has got some spots in the middle of it So as we're coming down with the hood, it's actually really easy. It shuts. Clear coat's gone all the way across the hood. You got some spots, but. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Of course, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. I do reviews on all of these cars that come through the lot, so you know what you're getting before you get here. There is detailed pictures, financing, and shipping located at maplemotors.com, where we update with 10 new rides every Monday. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.